Hi everyone, so someone asked me about this video and how I created this effect and I decided to make a quick tutorial on and show you how I uh, went by to create the subdivision loop on geometry. So I'll start by creating a, the typical geometry node and let's create a platonic solid. Let's start with the icosahedron and basically the the effect that we're trying to create is something that you would guess would be with done with poly extrude so basically uh, we want to animate an extrusion and an inset but the funny thing about this is that we're actually not going to use inset so we'll animate the distance um, I pressed alt and clicked on uh, distance to create a keyframe then Going, going over to frame 48, let's press Alt Alt and press distance parameter again. And now I'll just press insert something. Let's say 0 0.2. We want this to be done uh, by individual elements, of course. So this is part of the effect that we want to create. Now we, we're missing the, um, the inset effect. Okay, so usually you would think that let's, let's animate this as well. But actually, I didn't do it that way. I went to the spine control and um, went to the thickness ramp. And here you can also animate the, the way the, the extrusion is actually happening uh, before it reaches the maximum value or uh, from the start base to the, um, the final um, distance of the extrusion. So this is basically what I'm doing. So let's go to frame 48 again. And I'll say that at this point, I'll create a keyframe on this, on this end. And I'll say at this end, I'll have a 0 0.5, but I'll start with a value of one. So basically I'm just animating. The default ramp, thickness ramp is gonna be one, one. And I'm just animating so that the end point is gonna be 0 0.5 at the same keyframe where I have the maximum distance uh, extrusion. And then you get this effect. So now all, what we need is to create another layer of this effect. So basically we would need to copy this, select these keyframes, I'm going to offset them by 24 and I'll offset the other one as well. So I hold shift and click on the parameter and it appears on the animator editor. And I'll offset this as well, 24 keyframes. So now we have, we start with this and then we move on to this. Don't worry about the flickering that's happening just because we, we don't have a normals node. So that should clear things up. So I'll create a normals with a very small cusp angle. Go back. And we're starting to have the desired effect. We would need to create another layer and uh, proceed with this over and over again. And the idea would be that on the second one, the distance wouldn't actually be the same, would be a fraction of the previous distance, just so we don't get these, these intersections between the neighboring faces. So let's say that the distance of the second one would be half the first one. So it's 0 0.1. Okay, so now we don't have those intersections, or at least not as much. And we would go on and keep going with this. Let's say, just create one more layer for you to see the effect. And let's say that the distance, the maximum distance this time wouldn't be 0 0.1, would be 0 0.05. And we need to offset the keyframes again. So I'll select the keyframes, move them to 48. And I'll select the other uh, keyframes here. 48 as well. And we get three layers of the effect. So it looks good, but it's not very practical. Every time you want, you want to change something in the animation or the value of the, the way things are happening, either the time or uh, the speed at which they're happening, the direction, and you have to go over all the, 
the values and uh, or either offset all the keyframes again manually and that's really not necessary you can do this with uh you can actually do this with a loop so we'll create a for loop with feedback so it's basically just simple loop let's start with just uh, three iterations to recreate the same level of details more or less and we'll connect this here and let's create a null that's going to allow us to actually uh, access a few parameters that we really want just so we can centralize things here and i'll go to parameter edit parameter interface and i'll create two floats one two let's say the first one is my distance i'll say it's this label distance this is where i'm going to animate the distance and the second one is going to be my thickness so this is where i'll place the animation for the thickness okay apply accept now as before we'll create a keyframe frame one my thick original thickness is going to be one my original distance is going to be zero and then moving on to frame 48 i'll have distance at let's say 0 0.2 same value just so we use the same value and the thickness i'll create another keyframe and say 0 0.5 now, if we create a poly extrude, another poly extrude, place it here. I'll just reference this these values. So, copy parameter, and I'll paste relative reference here. And same thing for the other one. So, I'll go to thickness, copy parameter, come here to my poly extrude, spine control, and I'll select my second point and I'll say that this value base relative reference so that way I should get at least the first layer let me just make sure we only have one iteration and we should have the same effect as soon as I have this done properly so individual elements okay so we have the more or less the same effect let me place a normal here as well so one layer of the effect now all we need to do is basically say how many layers we want let's say three layers and we would get the effect the final result would be similar uh, but what's going to happen is that uh, all the um, for each iteration he's using the same values and everything's happening at the same time so let's start first by taking care of reducing the, the distance values per iteration that's actually very easy to do so we just need to create access the iteration number and we can do that by creating a meta import node so I'll go to my uh, block begin and create meta import node and I'll refer to this because this has a few parameters if you uh, middle mouse button here you'll see that you have iteration I value num iterations and value so here what I want to do is let's say I'll divide the my original maximum distance which is coming from here i'll divide my distance per um the iteration number so it's going to be always a fraction of the the original uh, distance number so let's say i'll divide by detail and can't really see my keyboard uh, detail of repeat begin metadata let's access iteration number and it's zero and we should definitely add a one so that at iteration zero we don't get an error or we don't get infinite an infinite value okay we shouldn't divide anything by zero so this should help us with get, just getting um, the distance value reduced on each iteration. Okay, so now the final result is a bit more contained. Okay, so that's happening. The distance value is a bit strong, and we might need to reduce this a bit faster. But it, it's for now, I think it's it's good enough. Now we've 
took care of uh, reducing the distance value per iteration and now we need to kind of delay each iteration by a certain amount and we can do that with a time shift I'll place it here and basically what we want is create an expression that takes into account the iteration number and delays uh, delays it by a certain a certain amount let's say I'll say frame so I'm basically just recreation recreating the original expression and then we want to subtract the frame we want to subtract the same detail I'll use the same expression so it's a detail metadata control C this time I don't need to add one control V and minus this times let's say a delay between iterations of 24 frames or something so that way they overlap 24 frames uh, each each loop should go from 0 to 4, from 1 to 48 and at 24 the other one uh, this is the the next iteration should start so basically i'm just subtracting uh, on each iteration i'm subtracting the frame uh, by the amount um, the iteration number times 24 basically just adding one second delay between each each uh, loop and that should do the trick let's have a look at this Okay, so it's working. It's uh, giving us that effect. If you notice, uh, from one to twenty-four, we only have the first, uh, the first poly extrude, um, the first iteration loop um, having an effect, and then we start to see the second one after frame twenty-four, and after frame forty-eight, we start to see the the other one. So this is the basic principle of the system I created for uh, that animation. This gives you a lot of control uh, using the null here and the control you have here you can easily just go to the let's say frame 48 where, where we place these keyframes and you can change these values and they'll have an effect over the the whole system the the loops let's say i want to reduce the distance to 0 0.1 and that's going to be that ha that's going to be um, having an effect over all the iterations you can go as high uh, go do as many iterations as you want you don't need to copy poly extrudes you just need to come to the for loop and say how many iterations you want let's say five this should give you should give us a good amount of of geometry and a lot of complexity on the model okay these are very intricate details it's definitely not reducing the distance fast enough so I'll help help you with that as well. So basically, yeah, we just need to accelerate the fraction. The way that this operation is working is that uh, on the first loop, I'm sub subdividing, uh, I'm dividing the 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 original distance by one, meaning that on the first loop, I'll have actually used the the original distance that I animated here. On the second one, I'm not going to be using the um, I'm going to be using um, the original distance divided by two on the third one divided by three but that's just not fast enough that progression one two three it's just not fast enough so you could for instance just multiply it by two or multiply it by something uh, the iteration number or you can actually um, make it even faster by using a power function for instance let's add a power function here power and I'll use I'll actually create another channel here okay on the null I'll go to edit parameter interface I'll add another float I'll say this is power and I'll call this actual power apply accept so now it's different it's, it's to the power of something and this is going to be much faster the way the the distance is going to be reduced on each iteration it's going to be much much faster I'll just have to refer to that channel so basically the whole expression is the just this okay power of the iteration number to this value which is basically just this channel okay just uh, actually call this animation anim controls or something okay and now what we will see is that 
there shouldn't be any um, or at least much less intersections because the extrusion distance is going to be reduced on each iteration by a lot okay so we don't see intersections happening or you could go the other way you want it to actually accelerate you want the the distance to actually increase on each iteration so you just go up below one let's say 0 0.5 and what you'll see is that on the second iteration the distance is actually going to increase and that's going to keep increasing and you'll get something weird and crazy but it looks it always looks good it's hard for you to get something that doesn't really look interesting if you render this with a nice shader and nice lighting it should look pretty good okay and you can just change the input as much as you want let's say another type of platonic noctahedron also gonna work any input is gonna work doesn't really matter okay you can ask, get really nice um, really nice structures you can even try divide okay to get different types of shapes and uh, that that's also gonna work so hope you enjoyed this one it's pretty it's pretty simple uh, or at least you can get it pretty simple the, the the overall structure it's actually very very uh very short you only have three nodes basically running on a um, on a loop and you get such an amazing uh, result out of this and such an amount of control that's really really nice Hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll, I hope I'll be posting another, publishing another tutorial soon about um, another subject, but it's, uh, yeah. See you next time.